Oh, well, I add myself to the fucking stream. <laughs> well, isn't that a fucking conundrum? Got to fucking add myself to something. It's almost like it has a fucking life of its own. I don't think I like that. But whatever. Anyways, thank you, Rattle Trapper, for showing up. Hello, everyone, he says. Yeah, there's nobody. <laughs> Story of my fucking life, I tells you. Uh, just trying to figure out a good angle here. Oh, that's pretty good, I guess. Yeah, that's a pretty good angle. Till I get fucking laughing about stuff, and uh, and then it fucking goes all askew. <laughs> Can you hear me, good rattle trapper? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put a link on here. Hang on, let me get this fucking link off of here. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Whoop, whoop. I'm not a fucking champion at this. So I'm going to do my fucking best here. Uh, yep. And this here. There we go. There you go. Stan, thanks. You can actually hear me now? Fucking right on. I'm so fucking happy. <laughs> I'm so happy I could just shit. And I may later. Anyway, thanks for coming into my stream, Stan Ulch. And uh, Mr. Rattletrapper, I, it seems like I know you well. Uh, we have uh, chatted many times. And so there you go. I'm trying to figure out the best angle for my fucking porn pooter here. I'm not sure if this is it. I think it may be because you don't notice my gaze when I look at the fucking hockey game. <laughs> I don't care. I'll put it back over here. Yeah, we all do. So. We chatted before a long time ago, hey? You know, you sound for very familiar too, Stan Alch. I'm sure I have also chatted with you. So I will just say that uh, I don't remember. But thank you very much for for you remembering that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we groovy, man. Holy shnikes. Helga, Pennsylvania cooking is in the house. That is sweet. Uh for you, for you other two fellas, if you don't know who Helga is, you best uh, educate yourself. Because this lady can cook, and I'm not even shitting you. I ha welcome, Helga. I haven't seen you in, uh, it seems like, forever. So welcome, welcome. As, you know, everybody is welcome, and so there you go. But this lady can cook. Oh, my God. Some of the shit she comes up with is like, <gasps> I just, and, you know, I, I don't even know how to respond to half of it because it's so, I get caught up in the moment. Where I'm like, oh, shit, okay, yeah, I got to save this and put this on here and then haul my fucking corn pooter over to the kitchen, and it's just a, turns into a conundrum. But Helga, thank you very much for all the cooking and all the cool recipes. Holy shit. You have some cool recipes, girl. I'm not even going to lie. Everybody, whoever else is in here, go check out Helga's Pennsylvania cooking. You will not be disappointed. And, ah, <clears throat> pardon me. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. Food is the window of the soul. I don't know. That fuels my belly, anyways. <laughs> Shit, I was gonna make a a pre-recorded or uh, I was gonna make a talk sheet about what to talk about, but I think it's better ad lib, don't you? I could be wrong. My buddy, my good buddy Steve Stalker Steve's supposed to be in, but uh, we'll see. I'm not worried. I just 
talk about what uh, any old thing. And holy grace, we got uh, two years in here. That's pretty. Oh, we got four years in here. Nobody, them other two. Them other two ain't saying fuck all yet, so that's okay. I don't give a flying fuck. Helga's been busy. Yeah, I know. Ice fishing, absolutely. I I have been. Not as much as I want to because it's been too friggin' cold. And uh, turns out, who to thunk it? I don't. It turns out that uh, I don't like cold. <laughs> I like snow and I like winter, but minus 40 below uh, doesn't turn my crank anymore. It just doesn't. I'm not out to prove anything to anybody. I don't have to. I've been there, done that. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I just fish. Uh, you can call me a fair, fair weather fisherman if you want, because I am, frankly, anymore. Uh, I only fish when it's... When it's above minus 15 Celsius. Uh, I don't think that's too much to ask. And actually, I'm not even asking. That's what I fucking do. So there you have it. I just figured that. <laughs> no, I didn't just figure that out. Uh, it's been coming for a long time. But as you well know, I don't live stream. This is only like my, I'll say this is my, my second kick at the cat. My my first one was the live with the donk and yeah, it does. You know, and I I have uh, I have some arthritis issues. I never thought I would. Actually, I I knew I would about ten years ago, but I didn't. I, I never thought it was true. Well, it's true. <laughs> and I don't. I'm not complaining. I don't complain about stuff. But. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast, absolutely. And trying to oh yeah, no, you can't fight Mother Nature. That's a losing battle. I knew that as a as a young kid, really. I knew that when I was twenty years old. Don't fight Mother Nature. You either roll with it or you're you're not rolling anymore. You're sinking. <laughs> yeah, I saw it a few times. Stan says, uh, we get a bit milder as we get older. We don't try and fight Mother Nature. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Because we have come to learn from Mother Nature rather than be in opposition to her, which is a losing battle, as we all well know. So right on. I've uh, been there, done that. Got the bat. Well, I never got a badge. Never got a fucking gold watch either. So there you have it. Yeah, I don't know. Norm loves freezing to death. Norm, Norm doesn't love freezing to death because death is nobody loves that. I don't think so. Anyways, but Norm is from Churchill, where he lives. Yeah, he's born and raised there, so I actually envy him because he gets to live in his in his hometown. Like, holy fuck! How many of us can do that? Granted, I was born and half-assed raised in Winnipeg, where I am now, currently. But uh, I I don't consider myself from here. I'm not from here. No, no. I'm from Ontario, from the north, the bushland. Yeah, I'm from Lake of the Woods country. That's where my heart is. So that's where, wherever your heart is, is where you're from. And that's where I'm from. Just is. It always will be. Can't not. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. That's the way I roll. Anyways. I'm going to have a shot of whiskey. Going out in a fire. Uh, dr <laughs> Drowning? Yeah, I wouldn't want that. No, no. Worst comes to worst. Uh. I'll get me a big jug of whiskey, uh, this kind right here, and I'll wait till the coldest fucking day of the year and go for a fucking hike with a, a couple of these. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. Don't you worry.
Yes, sir. That's the good stuff. Woo. I like it a lot. My name is here first. <clears throat> the fishing trucker. The fishing trucker. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the fishing trucker. Welcome into my live stream. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, I think I must be sub to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Can't say that. Don't say that. Nope. I think I must be fishing in your pond there, fishing trucker. Because I remember your name. I know we've talked uh, before. Cool. Oh, yeah. Technicalities. I know, but the fucking tubes. The tubes have all the technicalities. And Big Brother likes to listen in on what the fuck's going on, right? Ah, fucking pisses me off to no end. Stan is in southwestern Ontario. Oh, oh there you go. Soon, yeah. <laughs> Hell in a handbasket? I know her. She's a mean bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. The fishing trucker. Well, welcome on in there, fishing trucker. What else you got to say? Ask me a question. I'm real good with fucking questions. Because I speak my mind, and this, I think, as everybody has these rights nowadays. Oh, my fuck. Everybody's got a right to this and a right to that. And what. I, I, I have the right to pay taxes. On time, mind you. And if I don't, then my rights are infringed upon. So you can well imagine. Yeah, it's, it's quite the conundrum, I dare say. So anyways, uh, let's see. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy my doodad here. My fucking, how do we do this here? Copy, yep, copy. I'm going to paste this in for my friend uh, Stalker Steve. You may know him. He is, uh, hang on here. He's supposed to come in here and uh, give me some heads up. There we go, yep. Dale Wood. Hello there, Dale Wood. Uh, appreciate you coming in. You just came in and, uh, or I, I read your previous uh, comment on my chat there. That was very nice of you for looking me up. I appreciate that. I saw you in uh, some someplace else I stopped in, and that's that's good. That's good that you're here to uh, sup me. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. Thanks for coming, boy. I appreciate it. PC is bullshit. Fish and truck. Oh, oh, fish and truckers liberal. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to rattle your cage, dude. I am not. Ever since I figured out what politics was about, and please let's not go there, shall we? Yeah, no. I'm I'm a conservative, hardline conservative, because I see what the liberals do to our country, and it's like, holy fuck, really? Liberal Maya. Oh, he's not. Oh, he's not a fucking liberal either. You're not a. You're not a new Democrat, are you? Oh well. Good luck with that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. He's not one of my countrymen. Which is not to say that he's not a good man, that fella. But he's not my favorite. Put it that way. Uh, I don't. I don't see any. You know what? I'm gonna stop this right here. Fuck this. No fucking politics. Let me fucking type that. No fucking politics. We're done. We're done. I'm gonna type that right in here. No. <laughs> oh, did it post? Yeah, it did. Oh, right on. Cool. As you can tell, I, uh, I'm i not one of these professionals with the uh, the typing and whatnot. 
I'm more of a hunt and peck kind of guy. <laughs> oh, well, hunting for sure. But the pecking, it's like, when I start, I remember when I got my first computer lesson, it was brutal. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You would have laughed your ass off. It was like, okay, just trying to type in my email address was like, It was hilarious. And the this girl whose computer I was using, she's like, oh, she's just cringing, eh? <laughs> she's like, you don't have to hit them so hard. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, well, you you should have you should have probably mentioned that beforehand because I'm thinking of this old uh, this old typewriter I used to have that belonged to my probably my grandfather. And it had these little buttons on it, and you really had to lay on it because it had all. It was like one of those mechanical ones with when you hit the button, you could see this little hand go. Ching, 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 ching. It was fucking awesome. SD Mountain Man, welcome on in. <laughs> South, I didn't think there was mountains in South Dakota, is there? <laughs> oh, it may not be South Dakota. It might be. Swamp Donkey Mountain Man. I never thought of that. Could be. Keyboard salesman. <laughs> well, you could. You could, Stan. But you see, ever since the advent of these motherfuckers, I don't, uh, I don't need keyboards anymore. Because they just... All I do is just... Even if I spell it wrong, it fucking spell checks it for me. So we all good. Yeah, it's all good. But... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, SD Mountain Man, welcome in. Pretty cold down there in South Dakota. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it could be Swamp Donkey Mountain Man. A lot of Swamp Donkeys in the mountain, I tell you. I used to be capable of uh, walking the mountains, too, but... That's uh wrong side of the state. Okay, all right, yeah. Oh, you're in the north north of the state, huh? Lake Oahe, they got fucking big walleyes in there. I fish at Lake Oahe. Yeah. I think it's a reservoir lake, isn't it? Yeah, it, in fact I know it is because we fished on top of an old highway. It was like a perfect spawning bed. Holy fuck. Got some fucking giants in there, yeah, yeah. Pretty fucking cool. Anyways, thank you very much for uh, coming into my stream. It's all good. Mm -hmm. I am... Uh, I'm up here in Canada, in case you guys... In case you fellas uh, missed that. Yeah, it's... Uh, it is what it is up here. I don't know. Don't have much to say thereafter. Uh, I could explain it to you, but I just hurt my head, and so would you. So, fuck it. Whatever you see in the news is not the true story. Don't watch Canadian news because they're, they are much the same as American news up here. Like, fuck, we, oh, everybody fucking hates Trump, and oh, fuck, he's going to get impeached, and blah, blah, blah. Well, well, see how that turned out, right? Yeah. I wish we had a fucking leader as strong as Trump up here. I'm not even fucking joking. I know, Stan, you that bugs you, but whatever. I'm just saying. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. No politics. Okay, forget about it. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't know that. You're up there. Oh, you didn't know I was from Canada. Oh, you can't tell that, huh? You can't tell from my my accent, eh? <laughs> See, we don't always say a eh, at the end of our sentence. We only say a eh, if we're looking to connect with somebody, eh? <laughs> it's better than, huh? <laughs> I can't tell you how many of my American friends say, huh? At the end of their fucking sentence, that was hilarious. <laughs> the accent. Oh, oh I fucking get it. There you go. <laughs> Caillou. That's how you say that. Not coyote. 
That's how the fucking California douchebag say it. Coyote! A or... A or... Huh? No, no. Coyote. Dale Wood says, How do you say coy coyote? Coyote. That's how you say it. And I only say that because I used to be a trapper. I don't trap so much anymore, except feral cats around my fucking house. Uh, I got seven this year. Yeah. <laughs> and counting. Yeah, yeah. Got to get rid of those cocksuckers. That's the only way you do it. The accent. Uh, raging. raging humanist is a good Canadian chat. Oh, no, I don't know that one. Mark Friesen, no, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, but I will look. I will look for them, yeah. I've been watching a fella called howtohunt.com. And I, I started watching him because his wolf trapping videos is why that's what led me to watching him. And he's really, holy fuck, he's really good at it. You could just tell how he demonstrated stuff and, you know, just how he maneuvered around in the mountains and stuff. Granted, there's no mountains here, but you could tell he knew what he was talking about. Much the same as uh, BC Newfie, both on the same page. Yeah, them guys. And, uh, but anyways, now he's come to this thing, uh, this Bigfoot thing and, that kind of plays right into my wheelhouse. I won't go any further with that with you on that subject, but yeah. What else we got here? Uh, I'm too funny. He, oh, you spent some time in Winnipeg, did you? Come to a hockey game, huh? <laughs> uh, raging human is a Canadian vet who protested. Oh, oh, well. I don't give a flying fuck about protests. Guess what? Everybody's protesting in my country. That's like the new fucking normal. And what does the fucking prime minister say? Well, you know, we understand it's going to be a fucking process and a... Ah, fuck. Here we are talking about politics again. I don't want to fucking do that. It's fucking bullshit. It's bullshit. And I, some, something tells me that you and I, Stan, are on the same page. It just is. Uh, Mountain Man, yeah, you're probably on the same page, dude. So, whatever. Anyways. Holy fuck, look who just showed up. My friend, Mr. Joe's Neon. He's from, uh, I'm going to say, Michigan? Uh, maybe he's a youper, I forget. Anyways, thanks for showing up, Joe, my faithful friend. can always count on you. No politics, so no politics, Joe, because it gets me fired right the fuck up, and I don't want to go there because I know how I am once I'm there. I don't want to be that guy. Not on fucking camera, anyway. I don't mind throwing down on people if it's a far, fair fight. But I, it needs to be a fair fight, otherwise I'm not fighting. Yeah. Unless it's for my life. And it, it may come to that up here, so. 2A all the way. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> all right, cool. Two A all the way. A. <laughs> I understand the A part, but the whatever. So I'm gonna have me a little shot of this. And I'm sorry if I offended y'all, but not really. Wow. That's a good shit. I A. Eh? <laughs> That's a good shit. I. Be Jesus, bye. <laughs> Michigan guy. Okay. Yeah. I like Michigan. 
So are you, are you a youper? It's a it's a USA thing. S uh, Second Amendment. I love the Second Amendment. Oh my God! I wish we had amendments up here. We need to talk about Steve. How to? Oh oh. Do we need? Do I think we do, Joe? Just uh, putting that in there. Okay. I think you're probably right. Uh, so Steve and I are on the same page, put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's a, a looper. He's not a youper. He's a looper. <laughs> I don't know why I figured that, but I did. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. Take a fucking pill. Oh, I'm sorry that your pills cost a lot of money down there, eh? Good thing they buy them from Canada for fucking cheap and then sell them down there for expensive. Yeah. Well, to be fair, they sell them to us for expensive, too, even though they're fucking made right here. So it's all right. Yeah. Michigan is looking for us. <laughs> well, I hope. I hope the two of you are... Hey, what the fuck, Mike? Hey, that's not how you say it. It's E and then a whole bunch of H's after. <laughs> and then a boom. Hey, you want to come on? Fuck. I threw the link out here earlier. Fuck. Just scoop down and find it. And I'll fucking put you in if you want. I don't know. Just say it. Dirty, rotten imbecile. Hey, i seen you before. What's up, man? Burp. Hey, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, Mike. Fucking A. So I got family in Michigan somewhere. Yeah. I got family. <coughs> Actually, I know where most of my family is. Got some distant cousins in bumfuck Egypt, but that's different. That's uh, entirely different. So, did any did any of you try that fucking link? Because I think that's a fucking one. Like, could be wrong. Because uh, a buddy of mine told me how to do this, but I'm not clear. Like, this is only my second live stream. And to be fair. My friend, Mr. Joe's Neon, he was in the other one, too. So thank you, Joe. You uh, you pay too much attention to me for, uh, for the content, I guess. I don't know how to respond. Uh, Fish and Trucker, BFE, is next time for me. Next, oh, next time down for me. Yeah, Slam that. <laughs> right on. There you go, Joe. I don't know what it. I don't know what the fuck. How how much good it does me, but uh, sure. If you want to do that, do your worst. Uh, I don't give a fuck. BFE is the next town down for me. BFE, BFE. Buffalo? Must be Buffalo. Fuck, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyways. I ain't no Buffalo. I ain't never shot a Buffalo. But I know a kid who shot a Buffalo. And the only reason he got to shoot it, because his dad, well, they're native, and is they had a they had a couple of call tags to I think their ah, I think their nation had three call tags to take three buffalo. And so they they voted for this kid to have this call tag. I mean it was like shooting a cow in a fucking barnyard. But the kid was all proud, woo, I'm a big hunter now. I was like, Really? No, you're not. You walked in a 
you you rode in a fucking tractor with the guy that was going to skid it out for you. So you're a big hunter now? And, uh, granted, they were giving them all big shit. They're, they were giving them all great big accolades about, oh, he shot a buffalo. And, and the, just the ramifications of it, I appreciated that. I mean, it was a monumental moment, but it was all staged. And that's a kind of a problem for me. I don't like shit like that. I like things that happen. I like when moments occur rather than planned. And I, it's just, which is nothing to say that the people who plan these moments go above and beyond out of their way to plan this fucking shit. But it, it would mean more to me personally if the kid was out in the bush and fucking stalking them things, you know? He fucking walked out, opened the gate and fucking walked over there and popped him in the head with a 300. Well, holy fuck. Good job. And they were all high-fiving and like, really? Like, how high was the fucking fence, you know? Bullshit. <laughs> Comedy. All right, Dirty Run. Yeah, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, what you see is what you get. I don't know how to fucking edit nothing. And I don't think I... I don't know why I'd want to, to be honest with you. If you don't like what, I, what I'm fucking preaching here, then get the fuck out. Don't want you here. Except no one leaves. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Mike's in. Hang on, I got a wad mic. You're in, dude. There you go. There he is. Hang on. Hang on. We got you. Yep. We got you, bro. Yeah, I'm in. I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. I can hear you perfectly. All right, good. We're golden. All right, boy. Let's go on. My... Hey, thanks for coming in. For Not a problem. It. Sorry it took so long. I didn't have anything set up. It, it may have been my fault because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so. No, I clicked the link there, but I didn't have, like, my laptop set up or nothing. I was on my phone. Oh, yeah. Right on. Cool. Awesome. Dirty Rotten was laughing with me. <laughs> awesome. I think we're on the same page then, dude. <laughs> love having a, a meet and hide. I would love to have the meet and hide, but... Wouldn't call it honey. Oh yeah, fuck right there with you, dude. Right. We just we just talked about this thing there, Mike, about uh, buffalo hunting. I knew this kid that shot a buffalo. Yeah. Because uh, this. Kid. Yeah. So they just they just opened the gate and he he rode the guy rode the tractor into this guy's field, and there's buffalo standing there eating fucking grain, and he popped him. <laughs> Yeah, and they were all high five, and like kid went on a buffalo hunt. I was like, really? <laughs> Just because he was a native kid, you know. I was yeah. happy for the kid too, but that was no fucking hunt. And I, I don't believe in teaching your kids or, or telling them all that this kid was on a buffalo hunt because there was no hunt. They opened the fucking gate and drove a tractor up to the fucking thing. I don't like that. Yeah, exactly. It yeah. goes against my nature. It just does. Anyways. Yeah, that's uh yeah, I would have I probably would have told the kid off. That's just me. Yeah, well I was outnumbered and I, I know my limitations, <laughs> eh? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All things considered, yeah, I was outnumbered in a huge way. So how you doing, Mike? Oh what not fuck, too Mike? shabby. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good. Fuck all going on. Hockey game's on. I'm not even watching it. I'd rather <laughs> do this. Trying to find the oh. damn chat here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I was going to do this here. I was going to put the YouTube chat... Jimmy C showed me how to do this. Put the YouTube chat over this yep. other fucking chat so it's yep. quicker, right? 
Yeah. Okay. So let me let me give this a whirl. I'll be. Oh, I guess you could still see me, anyways. Doesn't even matter. Uh, let's see. Here. What's the fuck am I? One of these days, I'm gonna figure out exactly what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Look out, world. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's gonna be scared. No more than myself. Yeah, no more than myself. So, do you get a bunch of ice fishing done? Okay, so I gotta click on this fucker. There we go. Uh, pretty soon I get the fucking eye out. What the fuck is this right here? Yeah, so that's the other thing about being up here in Canada is uh, the internet is fucking bullshit. Absolutely oh, yeah. fucking yeah. crazy. Like, if you want... They said, well, if you want high-speed internet, it's going to cost you 60 bucks a month or 80 <laughs> I forget, something stupid like that. I was like, well... I don't need high speed because fuck I, I type pretty slow anyway, so it don't even fucking matter, you know. Well, holy fuck, they're like, <laughs> but now it's just getting stupid. Eh, it's fucking low speed internet. <sighs> fucking care. Except for now, it's like everything. You know why? Because I'm learning stuff. I should just stop learning stuff. That'd be way easier. <laughs> Just be one of these fucking entitled kids. Like fuck, they don't seem to give two flying fucks about what happens to any of them. Right? Mom yeah. and dad will take care of it. <laughs> yeah, mom and dad will take care of it. Like fuck, they don't have to go out and work for fuck all, or just do whatever they want, right? Maybe I'll yeah. try and be that guy. Fuck, I don't know. Oh, it's not been said. FD Mountain Man is that South Dakota? Yeah, Ain't yeah, hardly been exactly. safe long enough to ice fish. Yeah, that's a uh, okay. Here I'm back on the fucking thing here. Love to met. Oh yeah, yeah. They shut our ice fishing off. We couldn't even do any ice fishing around local. What? They're they're pumping water out from under the ice. Oh, see, and that also happened up here because. When it froze, our water level was so fucking high. Yeah. But now it has dropped somewhat. So there's a space between the ice and the and the water actual. And yeah. it's fucking dangerous is what it is. And I don't blame people for not wanting to go on there. Yeah, they shut the they ugly. shut the lakes down up here. They didn't They well, didn't do anything. Well, they don't have You're not allowed sense. on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't have enough sense to shut up here. Because it, <laughs> you know, it's in fact or into the playbook, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm having a hard time figuring out how, how to cut. I know there's a fucking way to do it. And I know Jim do it. But I'll be goddamned if I can figure out how to fucking do it. Which is why Open another computer, tab. I got one. Open another tab of your YouTube. Another one after that? No, nope, just uh, yeah, have one that. of the stream yard open. Have one of the one. YouTube open. Now, um, click up on to uh, expand the, the YouTube one big enough where you can read the chat. And then click back on your stream yard. Okay. No, I'm just, on expand. Okay. Yeah. Now drag it out okay. to Hang however on. big you want it. But I don't. I don't want the whole panel. I just want the. I just want the chat part. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna you know just I mean? overlay the stream yard over top of it. Uh. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about this? Okay, yeah, you're right, man. I remember now. I think I do. I think I do remember how to do this here. 
So, okay, let's see, go up here. Like this. No, that's fucking raw. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, in, uh, I'm fucking goofed right up. I'm in North Dakota Mountain, man. Yeah, South Dakota, North Dakota. Look at you fellas. Yeah, in Dakota Canada. Dakota boys. Yeah, Dakota boys, straight south of me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a lot further north than a lot of Canadians I've met on here. <laughs> yeah, you are. Those fucking uh, Eastern Ontario cocksuckers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, those Eastern Ontario fellers. <laughs> Yeah. As you can tell, I don't have much respect for Eastern Ontario. Or where the hell is uh, Where's Whiskey and her? I forgot where Whiskey and her husband are. They're right above the Great Lakes there, and I'm further north than they are. They're above the Great Lakes? Uh, yeah. They're in, like, uh, Hamilton? Somewhere around there. Something like that, yeah. Some little village out in the middle of nowhere. Some little hillbilly jump. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mute because I gotta go and fucking drain the soup. All right. Yeah, SD. I'm uh right in between Bismarck and Fargo. Little town called Jamestown. Bum, bum, bum. Sorry, guys. I was just reading up through the chat, seeing what I missed before I came in. All right. Sioux Falls and Sioux City. Oh, you're a long way south of me. Holy crap. Oh, he grew up in Pier. I've been in Pier quite a few times. I travel all over in between the three or four states in Canada. One and a half years, Grand Forks. Oh, yeah. You didn't miss much. <laughs> Oh, you were on the Air Force Base. Yep. I got a couple doors that I built on the Grand Forks Air Force Base. Giant hangar doors for uh, their drones. One of those deals where they called and ordered the door from us. We built it and brought it up there, and then they didn't have a building to put it in. They uh, they had us put it in a big canvas building, which was only supposed to be temporary, and that was a long time ago. Shit. 
but it wasn't about a month ago. We got a call and we had to go out and repair the door and it's still in that same canvas building that was supposed to be temped. So five, six years. Still using their temp building. The fucker. There we go. Hey, the B one is new. I had to. Uh, thank you very much. I figured as long as I was over there, that I would uh, uh, have a couple puffs on my pipe because <laughs> I don't know if you, if you're not uh, clear on that. See, as a Canadian, that is now. That is in the realm of legality for me. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I could I could literally walk right up to a cop and say or, or have him ask me, What are you doing? And I just say, Well, I'm smoking a joint. Yeah. You just be Yeah, all right. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know, yeah. I got friends that do it right on right on live panels and stuff with me from up there and everything. So Oh, is that right? I mean oh, yeah. like I've always done that. But I just, I've been more secretive about it always, you know. And I still find myself being that way just because that's what I've always done. Yeah, it's habit now. It is habit. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. Yeah, I got friends from California and Colorado and all that stuff that they do it right on panels and right on live stream. Not a big deal. Yeah. That's, that's fucking wild. Yeah, okay, I've seen that too. Yeah. Right on. So, are you hunting, man, Mike? Oh yeah, definitely. What uh, what critters you go after? Elk and moose. And uh, we get elk. We get elk. We only get one moose in our life here. Oh yeah, we have yeah, that. Yeah, we have moose. moose. Yeah, we have moose, drawn? but you only get one. Nope, I haven't yet. Do you do you have to pay to put into that every year lottery? Yeah, and you got to use your points too. So you accrue so many points after a, more time, or what? Yeah. All right. Yep. But you I can't show guns on lives. I've done that too, SD Mountain Man. I've shown my guns and everything on live too. Hmm? Nope, I don't trap. My dad used to way back when I was younger, but he got out of it before I was old enough to get into it. Oh, yeah, I forgot what I was doing here. Let me try doing this again here. Uh, we have tons of deer, tons of whitetail, coyotes, wolves, koi wolves, you name it. What does he say? This. Uh, Uh, no. But yeah, I got a lot of friends in G Trapper that do trapping. Everything from beaver to muskrat to mink to bobcat, and coyote, obviously. Trapping, yeah. Yeah. yeah I used to trap also. It's, uh, I just, I'm not able to. Hey, G Trapper! What's up, G Trapper? Good to see ya. There's a, I think, well, he's from North Dakota, but he's a Dakota man. Holy Christ. Dakota men are outnumbering a fucking Tobin. That's, that's no too pretty good, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, dogs are already done. Underneath me. Yeah. Already done, my friend. <laughs> and we're good. <laughs> I had one for all y'all. <laughs> all my sudden brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Here, how about this? We'll have one of these. I think this was. I think it was invented. But I, I don't agree. This is from up here. Oh, there you go. Everybody oh, yeah. have to pull their belt. Yeah. That's good stuff. Anyways. What's he say? They used to carry on the crazy Scotsman. Just, <laughs> they would do a gun check and everyone on live would pull out. <laughs> gun check. Oh, uh, fucking gun check. See they yeah SD they yeah SD Mount Man I think that was I think that they was moonshine. They want to just check our guns up here. They want to fucking take them. <laughs> and I I just so everybody wants to know if that's moonshine. Moonshine. <laughs> what do you think, boys? Was that... <laughs> what do you think? Whatever you're thinking, you're probably a hundred percent correct. <laughs> In fact, I know you are. So, uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> And there's your proof right there, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, shit, I'm the host. Yeah, I can't just loll out. I don't know what I'm here. What's that shine? Ah, shine. The moon. The moon and I. Shit, how'd that go? Okay, right, never mind. Now we're good. <laughs> I don't have Pray any of the homemade no stuff. Mistakes. The moon and I. <laughs> I don't That's have any of the homemade to. stuff. But I did, I, the, I did the other part of it in my head. Fuck. Yeah, it didn't come out quite right. <laughs> So, I got some of the store bought and stuff. I don't have any of the homemade stuff. No, no, it's a, it's a commodity to be certain. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Shit, I'm sorry. There shouldn't be dead air right here. Who else doesn't wants like... to... I've only Who tried spearing. To... I've tried ice spearing once. That was it. Ice spearing. Yeah, spearing. Uh, spearing uh, muskies. Yeah, musky like, or I, yeah, I carp up yeah, here I too is another that. one. And... I can see the point. I absolutely can't. It's way harder than it looks. <laughs> well, not really. Use a decoy. Well, yeah, you can even use a decoy, but you got to know where to so aim you and have, everything. You have, yeah, except other than the fact that you're stationary, yeah, you have every bit as much right to catch one as a as a, a liquid. What am I trying to say? I'm fucking goofed up suddenly. Can't imagine. It, there's some skill. Tight. There's a little skill to it. You know, I'll tell you something. I, I've snared pike in a flooded field with a fucking snare. Like a link snare on a pole. 
Right? Oh, yeah. Just a wire on a pole. Yeah, it snared him right up. Yeah. Way fun. I and caught walleye off of a... Too. I've caught walleye off of Main Street of Bismarck, North Dakota. Really? On Main mm -hmm. Street? I'm trying to spawn on the road. <laughs> when they flooded, the fish were swimming up and down the road. <laughs> Whoop. I mean... When they, when they flooded real bad, the fish were swimming up and down the streets. That's awesome. Yeah, I've seen pictures of uh, that and a uh, place in BC where I visited, uh, Tofino, where the, the salmon were spawning like literally right up the fucking highway and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, pike are really good out of the cold water. Yeah, it does. It, <laughs> it's got to take practice, SD, yeah. Even bow fishing. Pike, yeah. you really... Coming, good coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they taste excellent, G-Trap. You absolutely know it. I, I, There's nothing better. I would rather... No, nah, I can't say that because I'm a cropping guy. And I catch walleyes. But pike in cold water, holy crap. That's a good eat. That's a meal. Yeah. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Because they... See, pike have flavor. Or oh, yeah. walleye, walleye's meat is so delicate. It, the only flavor in my mind is however you cook it, because the meat is just beautiful. But yep, I love walleye. That's has, my favorite. As does bass, and there's a lot of shit going on nowadays about everybody eating bass. Yeah, like me personally, I don't give a fuck. You do what you, you know, you do whatever you, whatever fish you like, you eat it. What's yeah. The, what's the problem? Why is it now? Why is it a problem now? I don't get this. Yeah. They taste oily unless as they, hell to me. Unless they, they want to distract everybody instead. So everybody doesn't uh, notice something else. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Bass Enjoy. just takes oily or greasy to me. Enjoy to me. Yeah, it just does. <laughs> Trapper tails and tails, welcome. He loves large mouths. They're fun to catch. I just don't enjoy eating Trapper's them. I don't tails think. and tail. Welcome. They're real fun I, to catch. I've I just don't enjoy eating mouth. the damn things. No. Uh, where I where I've normally bass fish, there is no large mouth. Small mouth only. Oh yeah. And I've eaten a couple. Yeah. And it, they're good. Uh, I have no problem with that. No, that's all good. But the only, uh, yeah, it is what the, it is. Whatever. Yeah, the only catfish I've had that was good is when I was down south. Oh, Up trappers, here. trails, and tails. That is Kurt. Hello yeah. there. <laughs> Welcome on in. I'm sorry. Continue. Okay. No, I was just talking to. To G Trapper there, he says he likes catfish. And the only good catfish I had was down south. Up yeah, here, the yeah, waters yeah. and stuff are too dirty. It's all mucky water. That. They, they, they taste like dirt. I agree that a hundred percent for sure. Yeah, we have we have great big channel cats up here in uh, Red River. Yep. Yeah, the Red and, River uh, runs right through here. Absolutely. Uh, a couple of guys on a YouTube that I correspond with have been up here as Southern fellows like you, you know, and they come up here specifically for that and fucking we're not disappointed. Caught some giants and fucking so you know, great big old catfish, but I I, I can't wrap my head around eating one. <laughs> I, it's because it's such a nice looking. I mean, it's a it's a weird looking fish, but it's. It's a cool looking fish, and I I wouldn't want to kill that fish, you know. Fuck it, that's nice. I don't like to kill big fish. I love eating walleye and every kind of fish, but just the littler ones, not those yep. fucking giant. Ones. No, you don't do that. Yeah, that that goes against my nature. Yeah, that's not the way it is. Have you ever gone uh, paddle fishing yet? I've never seen a paddle fish. How about that? Oh, yeah, that's a good time. Never seen one, except on the fucking tubes, right? 
Yeah, no, I've never <laughs> seen never seen a live paddlefish. Never. Oh. oh yeah. We go right over to Williston, North Dakota, and um you can fish them right there below the confluence. The confluence of which river? Um, I think that is off of the Missouri. Missouri. Okay. okay. Huh? No, Killed I a paddlefish with a bow. They don't like me in the States. Yeah, here you're not allowed to use a bow for paddlefish. You got to snag them. Really? You have to? Yep. Well, they won't bite. You have to yeah. snag them? Yep. Like, that's, that's fucking big no-no up here, snagging fish. Holy That's God. the only way to catch one. Really? Yep. Huh? Fucking if, wild. If you snag one in the goddamn tail, you're in for a hell of a fucking fight. <laughs> Tiger by the tail, baby. <laughs> yep. <laughs> fucking been there. Not funny. Yeah, North Dakota, you have to snag. Yeah, paddlefish, it's a giant, like, prehistoric-looking fish trap. You shot tails. one? G-trap shot one with his bow. Yeah. Like a fucking carp? Like, snuck up on him and shit? They're fucking That's huge, crazy. huge fish. God, are they huge. They can get big. North Dakota. What? Uh, I... I... I stand in reverence. I, I have no fucking idea about none of that. Yeah. I float around in a boat. I know where I'm going. And I eat every night. The rest is all incidental. Yeah, Kirk. It's kind of like a, like a sturgeon, but it's got like a big paddle bill. Yeah, I've, I've seen pictures of them. They're neat looking fish. Mm-hmm. Man, are they gamey, though, if you don't clean them right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Stump, yeah. Stump Greenwood, South Dakota. Welcome. Stumpa. Welcome in, Stumpa. Oh, yeah. You got to travel fast and get them on the bottom. Yeah. <clears throat> Here, we got to throw, throw giant river weights and freaking crank all day and catch them. I'm a fucking newbie with this thing here, so we'll just fucking see. Yes. Yeah. Fuck it. No, you're gonna. Hey, love of the I land. To fucking, I don't have to fucking type just because you all can hear me. So fuck it. I'm not gonna. I'm not typing. Fuck off. Don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Love of the land is in the house. Kind of a deck on your boat. Oh, like a houseboat. Nice. <laughs> I could dig it. A party barge. I, I love those. Yeah, they're fucking sweet. Yeah, you got to get the cord the out of it and then no red stripe. Yeah, the bloodline. Deck. Yeah, I love it. A floating deck. Watch, a, watch that last step. <laughs> 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 if you're wet, turn around. <laughs> Which is also the rule for us islanders, you know, just in case you're wondering. I haven't gone sturgeon fishing yet. Snag, speared, and snare. Sturgeon. Yeah, I, I've I've snared jackfish or. What do you get? Northerns. We call them jacks out here. Northerns, yep. Yeah. I've snared northerns. Slew sharks, we call them. Yeah, yeah pickerel. <laughs> no, no, pickerel is walleye. Only to you guys. Soon as you cross you that, soon as you cross that Canadian border, the little pickerel is northern pike. <laughs> what? Mm hmm Oh, yeah, no, no I just... <laughs> I 100% fucking disagree. I know, I know what you, I thought it was just them Easterners like Boston and uh, those East Coast guys, New Hampshire, no. Vermont. They call, uh, I think they call uh, Northern Pike 
picker. That's what I understand. Yep, and yeah, Northern. Uh, a lot of people around here call Northern Pike pickerel too. Really? Pickerel so, is a small pike. See, G trapper uh, right there. <laughs> but that stands to reason because that's our word for it up here. So it stands to reason that that word would flow straight so straight down, right? Yeah, but your guys' pickerel is walleye, ain't it? I know, which makes yeah. no fucking sense to me for the simple reason that all my clients, all the people I've ever dealt with are you guys. So I call I call pick I call walleye walleye. That's what I do, yep. And all and my friends up here, like they're like, Hey, you wanna come over? We're cooking pickerel. I'm like and I, I know what they're talking about is walleye. I just Yep. It's a it's a matter of semantics, and it, you know, if you let it <laughs> fucking nuts, it will. <laughs> so just don't go in here. It's just like stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. Good. Yeah, Google calls pick a roll. On Northern Pike, too. It looks like a pike. <laughs> Maybe it's a mosky. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck would they know about fishing? Oh, golden eyes, yep. Now, you, what's, do you know the difference between a gold eye or a moon eye? There's no. another fish. There's another fish that looks, they both look the same. But they're two different fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a gold eye, the dorsal fin is above, is towards the head of the of the asshole. But the moon eye, the dorsal fin is behind the asshole. Ha. Huh. That's not even a joke. That's how they are. Yeah. Yeah, a little they're, late. They're two distinct species. A little lake right out here, um, right off of my farm. Um, it's called Spiritwood Lake in North Dakota. Um, it's the only place on the continent where you can catch Xander walleye. Really? Yep. Xander is just a wall. What's the difference? Is there a difference? Yeah, it's the European I've cousin. Never even they seen a Xander. It's the European cousin. But yeah, uh, I knew that they got they got a longer um top fin. They got more bones on their top end, but oh, they're not. They're pretty the same, but they get they get larger though. Like how much? Oh, about quite a bit. They so get a lot heftier. Giant? What's a giant one? The continental record of the U.S. and Canada and Mexico and everything right now is like 29, 29 inches. But if you go over to Europe and catch them, that's fairly average. Twenty nine inches. Yeah. Fuck. My personal best is 33 and a half inches. Yep. And that's not a fucking Xander. That's a fucking walleye. Yeah. Yeah. My personal best is uh, 29 and a half. Of nice. just walleye. Very nice. My personal fucking best in giant. Xanders is uh, 21. So they just, they're, they're like a, they're, they're a European fish. Yeah. So that's just how they evolved to be that big. That's all. Yeah, it they're is. just a European cousin, yeah, but uh, I understand. back in the day, the game and fish out at Spiritwood Lake thought it'd be a good idea to stock them in there with walleye. And then a bunch of people have started having a fit about it. They were going to throw off the ecosystem or whatever. And then uh, they quit, but they never died out. Hmm. So now we have the only place in the continent where you can catch Xander. That's pretty wild. Now, if you look in the supermarket, there's fucking Xander in there. And a few places up here, everything needs to be that way. They're like, they'll tell you it's one thing, but it's probably, it's probably fucking, who knows what, I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, everything's expensive. 
Oh yeah. You get what you pay for, I guess. Which is why I eat uh, wild meat mainly. I don't like the government meat. Right. Too expensive. Yeah. In North Dakota, the biggest walleye is 15 pounds, 13 ounces. Holy shit. Yeah. 15 pounds, 50, holy fuck. That's a fucking toad. You know what? I bet there's fish every bit that big in Lake Winnipeg. That's where I fish. Yep. And they're fucking green. Did you ever see greenback? Yep. Yeah, yeah we get them down here. Cool yep. You got the greenbacks? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, the Red River and all that runs right through freaking right where I live. I live in the Red River Valley. Oh. Yeah, you're in North Dakota. Or Northern South Dakota. That was it. Well, I I'm in North Dakota. Doesn't matter. North Dakota, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a big yeah. fish. They gotta send divers down in cages because the catfish are so big. <laughs> Those southern fuckers, they just noodle them bastards. You ever seen that noodling? Oh yeah. I'd love to try that. Or they, yep. they just sneak around. I don't the, know if I would. My problem is, I absolutely I, Fuck yeah. I don't I'd think I'd try like, I'd fucking find I'd a goddamn some, giant like, snapping turtle down there. <laughs> yeah. That'd be my luck. I'd find a gator sitting around on the bottom or a giant snapping yeah, turtle or gator, something. Gator, I'm not scared of gators. The only thing that would fuck me up per, per se is snakes. I fucking hate snakes. I just do. Yeah. I, actually, it's not that I hate them. I just, you know, if I see a garter snake, it's something that's not going to kill me. You, know? you go your own way, I'll go my own way, and we get along fine. But these fucking poisonous snakes and these fucking, like, uh, yeah, I just, I don't like them. No. Yeah, I just have a, I just, I wouldn't, in water, you can't see through. I ain't going to, like, put my hand in things blindly and hope something bites onto it. Yeah, but uh, uh, with welding gloves on, fuck, you'd be all right. If it's a catfish, a gator ain't going to give a fuck if you got a welding glove on. <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck, I guess. That's just, that's just bad luck. Bad luck if you hit it in his fucking nose. That'd be my luck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if, would he bite it? Would that be his first reaction if something punched him in the nose? Because my first reaction, if I was a gator, would be to fuck off, not try and attack it. <laughs> you don't know. He don't know if it. He don't know if it was a fucking spud or something coming down hitting his nose. Not going to try and eat that. Yeah. Right? But he's also well, probably used to freaking if a fish can't yeah. see where the fuck it's going either. A fish bumps his nose. He's probably used to biting at it. Hmm. That's why I wouldn't try it. Noodling, yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. South Dakota Mountain Man says noodling. That's I would absolutely try that too, for sure. I would. Only snakes I kill is rattle. You got rattlesnakes, G? Because I never, I've never seen a rattlesnake. I. Maybe it was. I seen a weird looking one one time when we were fucking hunting, rabbit hunting. I was like, he went his own way, I went my own way, and we're fucking, I was good with it. Yeah. It might have been yeah. a rattlesnake. It was pretty fucking big. I don't know. Yeah, it's a Stuck. rattlesnake is a big thing about 100 miles west of me. They do rattlesnake roundups and everything. You can even uh, take shots of the venom. Oh, one second. <laughs> Reach back in the hole, yeah. bump and dump, snap and <laughs> Holy fuck, brother! I I know. You know what? I'll tell you. There's stuff. I saw the biggest snap and turtle of that I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. <coughs> it was about 
uh, 11 years old, ride my mini bike. We came to a place that fittingly was called Turtle Portage. And right, it's been, I don't know, I think it's probably washed out. You probably can't even get through there anymore. So anyways, we were riding our mini bikes down this little trail and there was a fucking snapping turtle. And okay, uh, granted, without a word of a lie, this fucking snapping turtle was bigger than I was. It was like, like a fuck reaction upon seeing this turtle was it's a fucking dinosaur. It was absolutely enormous. I, I, I'm not even fucking joking. And granted, I was fucking 10, 11, 11, 12 years old riding a mini bike. And I didn't even, I, I, I backed up and went around it. As soon as I w approached it, it was like hissed at me like a, like a snapper turtle does, right? And I was, it was a big old mossy back. I'm not even fucking joking. You should have seen it. It looked like, it looked like a, like part of the fucking ditch just moved right on over. It was fucking goofy. Holy shit. I thought about ramping them when I thought better of it. I'm not even fucking joking. <laughs> I, I, I backed up and went on my way. Just like it was a cut. And so uh, there was no pictures of that interaction. That's why I won't go noodling. I would bump into one of them goddamn things. Uh, you got to be brave sometimes. You know? Yeah, Stump Greenwood, South, South Carolina. Got 38 stitches from the worst hurdle that he never got to cook. Deep burn. <laughs> Playing out, going out there noodling, and it got a hold of him. See? 42 pound snap a turtle. Buddy shot with a bull out of a kayak. No. So that motherfucker must have ran you all over the fucking place, wouldn't it? Doesn't just die. <laughs> it had to, Depends on where he had hit to it. Shot him through the neck. Yeah, maybe. Or through a fucking lay, or through a flipper. Yeah. So holy Christ. A boa. A boa, a a, a boa a pierced their shell. <laughs> till he had, till he had enough of you. Yeah, a boa pierced their shell though. A bow will. Oh yeah, a bow and arrow yeah, pierced a turtle shell. You don't want to do that because that's. That's a trophy. Yeah. You don't want to pierce the shell. No, no, no. You just got to noodle it. <laughs> right. I used to have these uh, these clients from Kentucky. I think they were. This Ty. We called them Ty the Turtle Slayer. <laughs> Anyways, they'd always catch a turtle. Or they usually catch one or two turtles. Every year, and they, they were back in there fishing anyway. That's a, they like fishing that slop where the turtles like, you know. And they were back in there in the spring, and fuck eat. They'd always come up with these snapping turtles, and you're allowed to. Back in those days, you're allowed to keep a couple, or whatever. Maybe you weren't. Fuck, I don't know. You, they did, and whatever. Yeah, so I ate lots of turtle. Turtle meat's good, but. Oh, the yeah. whole thing, they oh, yeah. knew how to clean them and everything. So the thing that killed me about all this was, yeah, right. So they they caught the turtle, cut his fucking head off, <laughs> hang him up, and, and let him bleed out. Well, with his head fucking cut off, he was still kicking like uh, 12 hours later. <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking. And at 12 hours after they killed this turtle, they cracked him open, and he, he showed me how they, the different cuts of meat, because there's, there's like 12 or 14 different cuts of meat inside of a turtle. Yeah. And he showed me how to do it. And he says, here, and I, I, I he, he put the heart in my hand, and it was still pumping. Yeah, he, the fucking turtle didn't have a head for fucking twelve hours. Nutty.
Yes, absolutely, Kurt. I know I felt weird doing it because because you know what? Yeah, yeah, Kurt knows. Kurt and I are on the same page in that regard, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've never cooked snapper. Not yet. I've had other turtle, but not snapper. They're allowed one snapper turtle per season. Damn. I got no idea what our limit on snapping turtle is. Turtle. Yeah, I got a tur couple turtle shells around here. <laughs> Great big fuckers. <coughs> I don't know. Big for me. So anyway, that story about when I was a kid, that turtle was fucking enormous. I mean, <laughs> I would have estimated that turtle would be about 60, 80 pounds. It was fucking huge. Like it was, the carapace on it must have been 46 inches. 48 inches. Yeah. Half a sheet of plywood. It was fucking enormous. Yeah. Anyways. Turtle season? Salt and pepper? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Turtle, pretty good. Yeah, not too pretty bad, anyways. Right. Turtle season, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've caught lots of uh, baby turtles. Holy fuck. About the size of a quarter. About the size oh, yeah. of a loony. Yep. Lots of them. Here they come, you know. Well, I I know they were coming because I, uh, I seen their nesting there. I got some cool turtle pictures someplace on my one of my cameras. With the fucking, I put it right in her face, and she's all kissing <laughs> <laughs> at it. The, uh, oh yeah, I just walk over there. <laughs> How do you get a vegetarian to try turtle? <laughs> Don't you know she's pregnant? I was like, yeah, well, yeah, no shit. <laughs> mean bitch, I would. Had a had a vegetarian try it once. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Thank you so much. Turtle. <laughs> she had a. He had a vegetarian try the turtle once. I was asking him how he got a vegetarian to eat turtle. See a trapper oh, tail. Trapper tails. Okay. See, I, I'm. Well, I'm delay here because I'm a dumbass. So. See you, Kurt. Take care. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to drag take off here too. I gotta get my ass up at five in the morning. Yeah. I gotta go feed cows and get the shop ready. Yeah, seven hundred and twelve. Oh my fuck! What? Yep. So hard. Holy fuck! You like him? Huh? I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> we never had that many. But holy fuck! I still don't like him. Not that much, anyways. <laughs> Maybe I do. No, I definitely don't. Yeah, there's one wow. or two. Yikes. So what do you just go feed you. them? Yeah, just go around, fucking feed them. Fuck here you go. Yeah, but you only have to get off the tractor to open gates and shit. That's it. No, <laughs> they open as when you drive up to them. Not even. Okay, well, yeah. fuck it. Not her fuck it. I haven't. I, I haven't good. done it for YouTube yet. G tra uh, G trapper. I haven't made any YouTube videos of cabin yet. No. Nope. Oh, how about the reach? <laughs> yeah. How far can you reach? I guess you got calf pullers now. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's called a a toe strap. <laughs> you just snare them or what? Nah, you got to reach in there and get the back little hooks That's around the I'm legs. That's what I'm saying, and, the reach. Yeah. The fucking yeah. reach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you park the side-by-side -side about 10 feet behind them, and then you just hook it onto the winch and slowly pull back and make sure it's coming out the right way. It's the easiest way to do it by yourself. <laughs> I can see, yeah, because you know what's going on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's oh, yeah. what fucking cows do. Though. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. They're a pain in the ass. Yeah, no shit. Hmm. Yeah. That's well, all right, guys. It was fun hanging out with y'all. Great meeting everybody. So, thanks for having me up, man. I appreciate it. You bet, man. Uh, you're welcome anytime, uh, sir. So oh, yeah. Have a good night, and thanks, uh, thanks a bunch. Yep. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a good one. Have a good night, Mike. Oh, well, there you have it, folks. I think I'm probably fucking done too. I uh, certainly appreciate y'all coming in. G Trap, always good to see you, my friend. SD Mountain Man, I gotta, uh, I'll come back on here and sub you up. I'm not sure how to do that just now. And uh, Mr. Mike, I got you. And I'll just look up on this fucking thing, and uh, and we'll all be friends here. Uh, I think we are anyway. So cool. Fucking a good meeting you. <laughs> G, you know what, G Trap? You need to fucking do one of these. Uh, you know, at some point, you just come to a place where you might as well just show your face. Now, there's another fellow on here that does that. Uh, hunt, hunt for fish. He's uh, from the rock over there in uh, Newfoundland, and he's he's finally been showing his face. And I was like. I clicked on him. I was like, holy fuck, you're an old feller. <laughs> He's like, I punch you in the face or something. Yeah, funny. Yeah. We had a little interaction. It was good. <laughs> like him. He's a good feller. Okay. All right, fellas. Have a good night. I'll just fucking click off here if I can figure that one out. I appreciate you all coming in here. And uh, As far as the likes and the dislikes, I don't even doesn't even factor in for me. I don't give a fuck one way or another. So anyways, have a good night, fellas.